This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about you and uh, your relationship with Kurt. Do you have a favorite match that you guys had together? You know, we've had uh, not a lot of matches, a lot of singles matches together, but I would say uh, the most memorable. Um, and Kurt, I might be wrong. We, we might have had uh, 10 or less singles matches. Um, but I remember, uh, the ECW pay-per-view, I think it was, it was the one where, uh, the fans had the, uh, the infamous sign, you know, um, Cena wins, we riot. Yeah. Uh, and, and I, 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 I forget the name of that pay-per-view, but it was an ECW pay-per-view. And I remember I had just come I've... back from suspension and I was a little worried about my conditioning because I was going in the ring with <laughs> Kurt Angle. <laughs> um, but I remember that crowd being crazy and uh, having a good time, having fun with the crowd. They, 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 were, they, were, they were a riled up bunch, to say the least. And that always makes for a good atmosphere. I believe it was One Night Stand, ECW. One, one Night, Night Stand. stand. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's what it was. We had, a, we had an incredible match. I, I really enjoyed that match. That was my favorite of the ones we had. You know, um, but other than that one, I think the one match where I beat you would probably <laughs> be my favorite. And and I, I think I think that I was... don't remember that match. <laughs> well I do because it only happened one time. <laughs> I, I think that was your last match. And and I maybe that was 06 or 07 before you left. Yeah, I think I, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So but yeah, I mean um lots of fond memories between us in the ring, but especially outside of the ring, man. I'll never forget them. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, but um, another question is, if you get the itch to watch professional wrestling, what era do you go for? Do you go for the '80s Attitude Era, Ruthless Aggression Era? What 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 uh, era do you like to watch in pro wrestling? A, a little bit of everything. So my grandfather wrestled um, back when it was black and white, even, and I've got old tapes of him. I think. Uh, uh, God, it was several months ago, someone sent me a clip of, of my grandfather and Pat O'Connor. Um, when I'm watching clips of my father, you know, I like watching him back in the day before his WWF run, when, you know, he was in his mid, late 20s, you know, when he was down in Florida. And, and, and you see all these other guys that, you know, I know as older men, but you see the young Steve Kearns you know, and the young Pipers and, and uh, you know, I, Bret Hart. Like, people ask me all the time if, if there's someone you could work with that you've never gotten to work with, like, I think of Bret Hart. So, like, instead of, like, eras, I'll think of performers or I'll think of um, who I might want to see that my dad's worked with before. Uh, but in high school, um, when I was just a fan, um, I loved watching Goldberg, man. I got a funny Goldberg story too, um, if there's time. But yeah, uh, yeah I, I so I, it was 1998. Huge Goldberg fan. We used to get together with all my buddies, and we were watching the undefeated streak as it took place, and just pumped. Right. So I turned 18, and I wanted a tattoo. Mom said no tattoos. And um, you probably can guess where this is going. Um, <laughs> So now that I'm 18 and I'm a huge Goldberg mark, <clears throat> I go to the tattoo spot and the <laughs> tattoo shit. artist, I tell him, I say, I want this tattoo. And it was a picture out of a magazine of Goldberg's <laughs> tribal fucking tattoo. So oh. let's see. So I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. But if you look, I've got some symmetrical looking tribal here. Yep. Okay. That, yeah, that I've kind of messed with over the years. And what that started out as was the idea that it was going to be a duplicate of Goldberg's tattoo. And the tattoo artist was like, oh, no, you don't want to put another guy's tattoo on your arm. <laughs> and looking back, it's like, thanks, tattoo artist. For 1998. <laughs> Holy shit. But, but. But he put a very, a very similar Goldberg-esque tattoo, tribal, right on my shoulder, same position. And it, it was symmetrical like Bill's, but it was, it, was, it was different enough to where you wouldn't look at it and think 
Goldberg. And over the years, I had a little more done to it just to make sure once I got into the, you know, professional wrestling world that people wouldn't think that it was supposed to look like Goldberg's. Oh, yeah. um, but I think it's funny looking back that when I was 18, I was going to put his uh, tattoo on my body. And then five years later, I would be wrestling him on television <laughs> on Monday Night Raw with Ric Flair and Triple H, you know? So it's, it's just, it's, it's crazy how life ends up. But um, you asked about the eras. I think the most mem memorable for me um, as I was watching it was the older, you know, brother of a friend getting the beer from the liquor store down the street and giving us a 12 pack and us getting together and watching WCW and watching Goldberg go out there and just slay dudes in a minute and a half. And I had no idea what I was watching, but that Goldberg character pumped me up and gave me that little spark inside that I want our fans to feel as well. He had a huge impact on our business back then, without a doubt. He, he was a beast. Yes. yes, yes, he was. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.